In today's tutorial, I'm using the Free Tress Pre Loop Crochet Braid here in the style Water Wave, and this is 16 inches. And I use the color number four, and as you can see, each pack contains three bundles, which contain 16 individual pieces. And as you can see, the hair is a nice brown color. And I also had to incorporate the Water Wave in 22 inches in the color TP430, as this color is not available in the Pre Loop style. Now the great feature about this pre-loop here is that it's easy to separate. It doesn't have that hard feeling and the flexi lock is super great because it's adjustable to help increase the size of your loop, but it also makes it easier to secure your hair in place. So no more slipping knots. So let's talk about this braiding pattern because you all, you get on me all the time, but this is my best braiding pattern yet. Like it's so neat, like for me, it's so neat. You can see some braids are straight back, some are on a curve, some are joined together. It's super simple. Let's get into it. So I wanted to first give you guys an overview of the handwork and how you have to maneuver the hair in correlation to the latch hook because it's super simple. This is a simplified installation technique and this, you, you guys, beginners, intermediate, and advanced, you will love it. So, first thing that I wanna note is that you do not want to insert your latch hook underneath your cornrow. I'm inserting it through the midpoint of my braid. And once I insert the hair into the hook, I draw it in the reverse direction Relieve the needle and I'm going to open the loop, draw the length of the hair through, and I'm going to push the flexi lock towards the cornrow to secure the knot that we just created in place. Now, what you don't want to do is insert your latch hook all the way through the base of your cornrow. So don't do that. Insert your latch hook through the midpoint of your cornrow. Insert the hair into the hook. Make sure you gather everything, unlike me. Draw the needle in the reverse direction. Open up the loop. Pull the length of the hair through the loop. And then push on the flexi lock band to help secure your knot in place. And you can even pull on the two strands for added security. And this is what one pack of hair looks like. As you can see, it's super large and just big. But this is where I wanted to use the Free Tress Water Wave in 22 inches because I wanted to create the appearance of highlights. So I cut the hair in half so that when I fold it over, I have 11 inch pieces. And I'm going to use this hair predominantly towards the front hairline because I wanna create the illusion of like natural but subtle highlights. For this particular part, I chose to do the three loop and knot method. And as you can see, I'm installing these pieces of hair towards the front perimeter near the smaller braids because to me the pre-loop hair was just a little too large to crochet into these areas. So that's why I'm using the smaller strands in this section. And of course, you know I had to do my invisible knot method. Just watch the handwork so you can really, really grasp what I'm doing here. And I have super informative videos on this if you want more clarification. So I'm inserting my latch hook and just look at the direction of the latch hook. I'm gonna put the hair in the hook, draw it in the reverse direction. You want to keep the loop on the top or wherever you do not want it to be exposed. And so I'm going to tease out a small portion of hair and then hold on to the rest with my opposite hand. And then the hair that I just teased out, I'm gonna pull that through the loop, give the loop a little twist, and then I'm gonna bring that hair back through the loop and pull on both ends taut so that it secures that knot in place. And that is how you get the invisible knot. And this is what the hair looks like after I installed everything. As you can see, it needs a lot of work. 
So I went through and separated the strands of the pre-loop hair. That hair is very thick and I definitely think if you want to maximize your volume, you should go through and gently tease apart the hair. And I added some layers because my hair was very choppy in the beginning and I feel like this helped the look come together and I hope you guys enjoy this. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah.